So we do have a choice on how we feel and what we think. And it's that choice that we need to use right now to create world peace. Hello, my name is Hannah Koch and I am the Happy Ever After Coach. Today I want to speak again about how we can contribute to creating world peace. And the one way we're going to do this today is with our thoughts and feelings. You see, did you know that our thoughts and feelings affect our environment? I'm going to share with you a demonstration that I did with a group of people on one of my webinars. We sent one person into a breakout room while I instructed the rest of the group. I said the first time we were going to send thoughts and feelings to the person, we were going to send worry, criticism, or any other thoughts or feelings that would make us feel bad, and especially critical thoughts towards that other person. Then in the second time, we would send her love, appreciation, compliments, whatever we could do to praise her into heaven. We're going to send you some energy and just notice if you pick up anything. Just become aware of what you feel. So number one, we're going to do now. Did you notice anything? Maybe you just I, something. I actually felt like I wanted to cry. Does that make sense? Okay. Interesting. Let's do number two. Okay. How do you feel now? This one, uh, uh, I think, uplifted me, and I felt a tingling in my hands. Okay, that's amazing. Now, as you can see in the video, that the person that we sent these thoughts to was picking that information up. You see, our thoughts don't stop with our skin. They go somewhere. They affect our environment, and the they affect the people in it. And so this person picked up immediately that something was off. And then when we send the love thoughts, she felt better. Now, can you imagine if we send these hateful, worry, disapproving thoughts and feelings towards a person that is insecure and coming from ego? You know, there's a lovely saying that says, uh, our Ignorance got us into trouble and our ego keeps us there. So once we feel that people are disapproving, and if we are in that ego state, then we just dig our heels in and it becomes harder and harder to change because our pride keeps us stuck in that state. Now, the interesting thing is, as we've noticed, that the person that receives those thoughts and feelings is influenced by our thoughts, but we are influenced as well. As soon as we send worry and criticism, our energy level goes down, our mood goes down. And when we send love and peace and joy, we go up as well. So whatever we give to the other person is what we get ourselves to. When we see something is, that is upsetting, it's very natural for us to be upset and be angry and, and send hatred to, to the person that is doing something that we disapprove of. The challenge that I want to put to you is that you realize, you know what, we can choose the way we think and feel. Just as in that experiment, we chose to send angry and, and hateful thoughts. And the second time we chose to send love and appreciation um, to that person. So we do have a choice on how we feel and what we think. And it's that choice that we need to use right now to create world peace. What type of thoughts do you think the world is sending to Putin and Russia? I'm sure most people in the world that, that are disapproving of this war, most people are not that appreciative of Russia and especially Putin. Did you know that Putin could actually be suffering from the small man syndrome? When I googled how tall he was, I found the following information. Allegedly, it's said by somebody that knew him 
that he like wears hidden wedges in his shoes and for uh, photographs he positions himself in such a way that he looks a bit taller than he really is well if he is suffering from small man syndrome if he is suffering from low self-esteem then any negative thoughts that we send his way will just amplify this and that is something we really cannot afford right now so how can you create world peace with your thoughts and feelings one of my students told the following story she was at home and then people entered her house tied her and her husband up so that she could do nothing and then those intruders asked where's your daughter so the first thing that she thought was like oh, rape they're going to hurt her they're going to rape her she vowed that i'm not going to allow that but she could do nothing because she was tied up so what could she do so here she is tied up knowing that these people are on the way to the other side of the house where her daughter was and what she did in that moment was fill her heart with love and then imagined butterflies of love flowing from her heart to their hearts and then she heard later from her daughter that what happened was when they arrived in her room they tied her legs together and then they took her cell phone and this is a while ago when the, the our contacts were still on the cell phone and she says okay you can have my phone but can i please have my my sim card because then i still have my contacts and they gave the sim card and then they took her handbag and she said can i just please have my id document because it's such a hassle to renew this id document and they gave her her id document and at some stage, there was one person alone with her in the room, and he said to her, I know what I'm doing is not right. So she had influenced those people most likely by sending those butterflies of love from her heart to their heart. So what if we, as a group of people, and you as an individual, whenever you think of it, start doing that what if you could fill your heart with love send that love to putin and the russian army that it can soften their hearts just like it did with those intruders that then they become human and when you're human you start to see other people as human when our heart has hardened then we see everybody else as an object and it is so easy to hurt an object because hurt people hurt people but if we feel loved we are more likely to be kind and loving towards others so what can we do to create world peace as i mentioned our first reaction is to respond with shock and horror and disapprovement of what putin is doing but my challenge to you is stop Start connecting your heart with love. Think of somebody that you love or something that you love. Fill your heart with love and then imagine those butterflies of love flying from your heart to Putin's heart, from your heart to the Russian soldier's heart so that they become human, that their heart softens. Then we have a chance that they overcome their pride. Have you liked what you've heard so far? Would you like to be informed of future videos that I put out there? Then please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that you'll be informed when my next video comes out. And I also would love to read your comments. So please leave your comments below and I will respond to each one of them. It's Hannah Cock, the happy ever after coach. Oh, my God.